Hello everyone, Jonas here from Jonas Tries Anything. Today I will be cleaning my Gerson Regard MC. Um, this is a clone of the Beretta M9. As you can see here, I have it on my concealed carry um, holster. Um, if you have not seen the review of this, uh, click the description below and the link will be there. Um, so yeah, um, before we do that, um, a lot of people were asking me how how much this gun weighs with the bullets, um, the holster uh, for everyday carry. So I will do that today here. I have my weight scale here. All right, this is zeroed now. The gun, this is this is full capacity right there I don't know if you can see this but this is 18 so 18 bullets nothing in the chamber here load it there so it weighs about 2.4 pounds 2.42 pounds and that would be 36.0 ounces and then that's in milligrams right there that's in grams for people outside the United States this is 1.021 kilograms alright how about without the holster Without the holster is 2.0 um, pounds. That's 32.4 ounces, 919 ml, 919 grams, and 0.919 kilograms. All right, let's go ahead and um, strip this gun. Um, I will be using home remedy um, solutions here. This is 50-50 uh, white vinegar and hydrogen, hydrogen peroxide. This one is a synthetic oil blend from Motorcraft. It's SAE 5W-30. It would be this one so I've read a lot of um, comments on reddit and Google um, saying mobile one synthetic oil blend will work but again this is for an experiment I'm gonna use this to clean and oil my gun for a year and I will do um, another review a year later to see how the gun um, is standing up all right um, I will be using my cleaning kit today here as well this is science purchase and inside this cleaning kit we have our cleaners we have the sponges here and we have our bore cleaning tools in there so I'm gonna use that or I could use this other one as well same exact thing just from different vendors okay we have this one so if you're cleaning the gun um, this will go th will thread through here and then you thread this to the barrel again we're cleaning a 9mm so we're going to use a smaller um the smaller attachment here right, i can see it yeah this one all righty so let's get that out of the way first thing to do is eject the magazine there 
make sure the gun is empty okay and then to take this down we'll have to push this button right here and at the same time we're pushing that button we'll slide this lever downwards and you will hear a click now you can take out take apart the gun um, again um, someone asked me what the material is uh, for this gun um, the frame itself or the gun itself is aluminum and this is polymer so if you're using really aggressive cleaner you will need to remove this to protect the polymer grip and then in here it's just metal in there and then aluminum frame and our barrel is made of steel um, as well as the, as the slide it has a, a good weight to it okay so we'll disassemble this the guide guiding rod here we'll push forward and then out and we'll remove this let's see how dirty it is yeah I've been shooting this and then for the barrel you just push this um, rear part of the barrel upwards okay like upwards like that upwards and out here's the slide and here's our barrel okay um, I will remove this one as well but I don't know if you can see this but that's the bore right there and again it's pretty dirty um, because I've been shooting it how about this one here um, yeah not, not nothing much here except for this part where the you know the barrel sits and the slot for the magazine there's really nothing in there all right let's go ahead and do the cleanup here um, one thing I'll do is I'll take a napkin here and I'll just sit this on the napkin it's easier for me to see the contrast between the white and the black and I will just spray this guy spray that there spray that there okay um, this is blued steel so people might say oh Jonas you're gonna ruin the, the bluing on this slide um, because you're spraying it with uh, white vinegar and hydrogen peroxide it's like it won't really ruin it if you just spray it and then wipe it and again this is an experiment so a year from now we're gonna be um, doing I'm gonna be doing another review and see how the gun um, holds up with this type of cleaning and maintenance okay uh, this is a microfiber cloth that I'm using it's pretty easy to use and it's it's nice it absorbs uh, moisture really really good all right slide is done and I'm gonna do the guiding rod here As you can see we have quite a bit of dirt there gunk from shooting right that was done spring make sure when you clean the spring not to bend it or else it will remove this you know it will reduce the springiness of the spring just do that and then for our next round here I'm gonna do the um, the barrel so sometimes the barrel 
slide goes up here so you just have to push this pin push this pin down if this is stuck up there you just push it down and this uh, lever should should pop out just like that okay if this is pushed all the way in there and this is in the up position this you will have a hard time taking it out so you, that has to be pushed down all right let's see how dirty this thing is okay spray 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 the inside spray a generous amount of it and just let it sit a little bit same with this one okay Okay, let it sit a little bit. Let the solution do their job. Then I will use these attachments over here. Let's see which one will fit the 9mm here. Again. Fold it up like that, thread it in here, and then we'll slide this through the through the barrel. Okay. If your barrel is very dirty, um, you might also need to brush it. I think this is the 9mm one. Let's see. Okay, I think this is the one. Yeah. So I'm also going to do that. Just going to thread this here. Again, I've been using um, different ammo on this. I've been using. Um, aluminum case by um, CCI. I've also used um, this uh, Hornady Custom um, Hollow Point CCI Blazer um, aluminum case. So different types of rounds have been passed through this um, gun and it held up pretty well okay I don't know if you see that but you see all the gunk that came out when I brushed it um, that's why it's important to have a cleaning kit because if you don't maintain the gun it's gonna shorten the life of your barrel and if the barrel is that good it will not shoot the projectile properly now as you see inside here we have loosened all those gunks see there it's loosened so I'm gonna go ahead and run this guy and then just put it back and forth with the twisting motion there boom okay do another round here I'm gonna choose the bigger cloth now and then I'm gonna thread that there if you don't have um, attachments like the one I have um, one thing you can do is you could you could take your cloth fold it shove it in there okay and shove it in there and then just take some something a chopstick or something like that and then just push it right through okay. it still works but it's it's good it's nicer if you could thread it because you could really work that um, you could really work the um, material into the bore of the barrel as you can see here I'm just pushing it 
up. Uh, most gun cleaning kits as well comes with attachments like this. So this one, this one will fit really snugly in your barrel. Okay. And then once it's in, it would help if I use the right pole for this. Okay, here is the right pole. And once it is attached there, um, you could make it run. You know, basically run through the barrel and clean it. All right, um, our last round came out pretty clean. So the barrel is really clean now. Right here, no more gunk. We've, we've wiped it down and that's about it for cleaning the barrel and this one I will just use the same exact technique spray 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 okay nothing really going on at the back here so I'm not gonna touch that I'm gonna touch the front here again this is to prove that whether or not um, Things that are readily available at home can be used to clean the gun. I could already hear uh, people typing on the keyboard. Jonas, you're gonna ruin the gun. But again, I have to satisfy my curiosity. And again, it's just for science. You know, see if the the gun will hold up. And again, knowledge is power, and I like to share knowledge with you guys. Oh, if you have not done so, um, please subscribe to my channel to help me out. Also, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, and also hit that bell icon so that you get notified of new videos that I will be publishing here soon. Um, for hard to reach places, one thing I found helpful is if you don't have a Q-tip, um, like me, I don't have a Q-tip right now, just shove that there and then just work it through there. Just like that. And then just take it out, boom, it's clean. All right, all this um, white stuff here um, are just for daily um, normal normal use <clears throat> so this is this did not come from the vinegar peroxide solution okay this is just daily use I carry this every day so you will see wear and tear here for normal use okay We're work that safety there all right cleanup is done let's go ahead and flip our um, our napkin here and we will use our um, SAE 5W30 to oil this up so one thing I all right so we're done with the initial cleanup we're gonna oil the gun now so I, I, I put it in a sprayer because it's easier um, to control um, one thing I want to do is lubricate everything and I'm gonna use um, my little gouge here to apply the oil um, I've seen people apply it on, on the gouge and then they wipe I've also seen people that just put the oil there I'll try both methods and see what what works again anything for science right and go there put it in the lever oil it pretty good again I live in in a dry area in Utah so um, a lot of people may, may be saying hey um, you should not be putting um, motor oil in your gun again it's it's fairly dry 
desert uh, desert state um, not a lot of moisture but I'm putting oil now because it's um, almost winter and I carry this every day so a little protection here wouldn't hurt okay I'm gonna do the barrel see I applied it directly on the guiding rod um, put it there for the barrel uh, for the, the spring recoil spring I'll just twirl it around get it a nice coating there twirl 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 then for the barrel I'd like to see if I can just spray it in there let it run down and then I take this and then I'll just push it through the barrel just like that push it through okay turn it a little bit push it back and then I'll just use the residual oil to wipe the outside of the barrel okay that one is done all right for our lever here I'm just gonna spray a little bit in there get it down there in the action As you can see there shiny oil there and just to lubricate those springs and here at the back also going to put some oil here right here just to smoothen the movement of the parts there all right now for this part of the slide where it meets the frame I'm just gonna put oil there then I'm gonna work it with my finger here again it's pretty oily but again I'm gonna wipe it down with the microfiber once I'm done oiling again satisfying our curiosity here if car oil will work on our gun all right that should be it put some here too Just to lubricate that again it might work it might not work let me know in the comments below if you have tried this um, I'd love to hear from what you guys experienced which oil worked for you which oil failed or not okay now I'm gonna wipe this excess oil with my microfiber okay and then I'm gonna assemble the gun exact opposite of what we did earlier push this one here and then where's that other part right here I forgot to oil this oil 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 just give it some love in there then wipe the excess okay it's just to provide some um, coating and right here where it's high friction um, I would want to put oil in here as well as here this is where the the metal parts are rubbing each other and they rub and again when there's friction there's uh, wear and tear there just slide it there okay we'll slide the barrel right here it, and then once you get it just right it, it will drop down okay right there has to be parallel okay pretty generous oil here all right we're gonna put a recoil spring 
inside here make sure that the barrel is aligned to the slide we will slide our recoil spring and now the slide assembly is fully assembled we're gonna put the gun together again make sure this lever is in the down position if it's not push this button and this lever should go down and as you see here we have grooves in the gun um, just gonna put a little bit more here because it's a little bit dry on the other side as well okay so with that there this gun should slide better whoa that was actually way much better than the last time I slid it without without the the oil all right so right here give it a good wiping again when I bought um, this gun from sportsman warehouse which they bought from EAE a Turkish company um, this gun was oiled up like huge time it was like dripping all over so doesn't hurt if you put a, a good number of good amount of lubricant in there okay so slide that slide that's the action pretty good uh, that's um, double action there single action reset pretty short boom all right my friends um, I will update you um, I will keep an update on how this gun um, is holding up you know and see if this method of cleaning and maintenance will work if yes then you know something like this costs like what, eight bucks in AutoZone and it's a lot this is uh, one quart so this would last me maybe <laughs> the the lifetime of this gun if this works so yeah let me know in the comments what you think um, again let's be kind to each other no swearing nothing like that um, let's just be educational here and um, I would appreciate if you guys give me comments and see what your opinions are on this type of cleaning and maintenance. Alright, till next time, this is Jonas, peace out.